High Water Energies, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and of course, those cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today, we're going to take a look at and see whether or not this is meant to be. So, are you and your special person? Are you meant to be together? Is this destined? Is this fated here? Keep in mind that just because sometimes something is meant to be, it might not always be meant to last, okay? So there may be a bit of a difference there. So today we'll take a look and see what the cards are trying to communicate to you here about you and your special person and the connection that you share with them. So ultimately, is it meant to be or not? Because this is a general reading, guys, please just keep that in the back of your mind. If you are after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will be providing you with my email address just below the video here. So we'll start by giving the cards a shuffle here. And we'll see what comes up here. Wow, straight away. I do have the devil here that's... Um, flown out here quite eagerly but that's come out in reverse i've noted okay For a lot of you water energies here I feel like there's a bit of a there's a bit of a separation or a disconnection between you and your special person or there has been in the past here or there may be one in the future a period where the two of you maybe aren't as connected as you want to be with the individual or you feel as though things have stagnated a little bit or I feel as though maybe this individual here has pulled back or withdrawn a little bit here. Um, I can, like for me, whenever the judgment here appears in a tarot spread, often it indicates either a beginning or an ending around the seeker. And for a lot of you, I feel like maybe this is a connection that, you know, has, you've stopped, you've started and then you've stopped. Maybe this person has been a bit of a fluctuating presence in your life, but there's always something that keeps them coming back to you. Or there's something here that keeps you gravitating back towards each other here I get a strong sense of attraction and it's a t it's not just a type of physical attraction yes they think you're very good looking um, yes you think they are extremely good looking okay the both of you are definitely um, you know you're definitely attracted in that sense there's obviously a physical attraction a sexual chemistry and energy that exists between the two of you which I believe is almost like it's palpable and it's definitely perceptible to other energies that are around you Okay, however, I feel like this is more than just a physical attraction. There's substance here. It stems beyond just, you know, this sexual energy here. There's something here that the two of you have found in one another that keeps you gravitating back towards one another. And remember here, guys, whatever is meant for you and whatever is meant to be, you can't necessarily lose that thing or that person. And it might end but without it truly ending, if that makes sense, because whatever is meant for you will naturally find its way to gravitate back towards you. Even if you feel like what was meant to be, you know, you've lost or what was meant to be had ended here. So I can see this to me is a strong indication of the two of you gravitating back towards one another time and time again. There is something here about this person and about this connection which holds you bondage, okay? And I feel like it sort of holds you captive. Now, I don't know if it's because you cannot find yourself pulling away from them. You can't find a way to just completely forget about them and move on. Or they can't seem to find a way in which they just, you know, forget about you and move on. There's a need for you to break some sort of chains about this connection here. Now, these chains can be... They're going to be different, okay? When I when I'm when I feel a sense of this, when I say like this connection or this person is keeping you bondage, there's just something about this person you can't let go of. Maybe they have an addictive quality or addictive um, 
energy to their presence. Maybe it's the way in which they love you, or maybe it's the fact that, you know, it feels so right, even though it's wrong. There's something about this connection that holds you captive. And unless you break free of those chains, I feel like you will not go on to have a healthy relationship with this person here. You need to take some time and figure out what is it about this person or what is it about the way they make you feel in which you feel as though you are powerless you have no control over your feelings or you have no control over you know what it is that's manifesting between the two of you because it's a very dangerous position if you ultimately are giving if you're relying on this person for your sense of happiness or for you know your self-worth it's very dangerous if you're going to take the key to your happiness and put it in someone else's pocket other than your own and some of you and you can't even explain it, okay? And it, you can't even explain it because you feel this sense of powerlessness. You're a very strong individual. You've got a very strong, resilient mind. But when you're with them, it's like your mind turns to mush. Or if it's the other way around, you know, they feel very strong and independent and they're very fierce. But when they're with you or when they think about you, all of a sudden their mind, you know, turns all mushy and, and whatnot. So someone, he definitely feels as though they're powerless here or they're giving their power away to someone else here is it meant to be i feel like there's definitely something about this connection that is meant to be however it's hard to say whether or not it's meant to last i feel like with the passage of time you will definitely get your answer here i feel like there's so much about this connection here and there's so much about this special person that is teaching you to look inwards here now, for some of you, I feel like there are so many lessons and you might not even see them just yet. You may be completely oblivious to all the important lessons that this person, the energy and this very connection is trying to teach you. I feel like there's something here that tells me that you need to let go of any fears or insecurities, anxieties that you hold within yourself. You need to let go of them because I feel like some of these are acting as chains, chains and they are what's keeping you bound. They are what's keeping you, you know, bondage. And this is what's preventing you from fully opening yourself up to love and experiencing it. Because I feel like some of you, I feel like it hasn't worked out with this individual in the past only because I sense very strongly that someone here is holding on to behavioral patterns which unfortunately are hindering them, okay? And I feel like it just may be you. It may also be a person. It may be the both of you here. But to me, the fact that, you know, the pentacles here has come up, we have to consider there are both sides to this story. So for whatever reason, it didn't work out. It may be because the universe here is wanting for you to take this time to work on yourself, okay? It may be because the universe, he wants you to work on building a better relationship with yourself. So when that this individual does come back into your life, you're ready, you're prepared, okay? You're ready for that relationship. You're ready for that stability and commitment. You're, you're ready for what lies ahead. Because I feel like this, I did mention, I feel a disconnection between you and your energy right now, okay? I feel like things aren't what you want them to be or things aren't what they were in the beginning, but that's okay. It doesn't mean that you have to stay in this energy field for a long time. It just means that you have to grow through what you're going through, okay, in order to achieve the best possible outcome for this connection here. I definitely feel like this connection was meant to be. However, it's really tricky given the circumstances around your energies. It's really hard to say whether or not this is meant to last, okay? I feel like if it is meant to last, it definitely will withstand the passage of time and it definitely with, will win, endure anything that comes its way. But for a lot of, but for the most part right now, I feel like this person is definitely, they're a lesson and they're a blessing to you as well. Because I feel like there's something, they've awakened something in you, something that has laid very dormant for a long time, whether it's your feelings, your emotions your realization, your self-awareness, something, whether it's a passion, a fire, a spark, whatever it is that's laid dormant inside of you, this wonderful person has come in and awakened that. They may not be perfect, but no individual ever is. So we're going to cut them some slack here, but I definitely feel like what they've done to you, even if you don't see it, yes, they may have hurt you. They may have pained you. Yes, something about this connection may feel un unhealthy or even toxic in some ways. But I still feel like they've blessed you in many other ways. They've blessed you with so much insight and 
so many lessons here guys so they've definitely awakened something within you it's just that They've, they've stirred something within you, right? It's just that how are you going to use that energy going forward and how are you going to apply it to this connection or to any future relationships that you might have here, okay? Because I feel like right now, the reason why the two of you are in separation or you're going through a bit of this funky stage, you know, a bit of this uncomfortable kind of energy is because the universe is saying, I want you to work on yourself right now, okay? I want you to work on your health, your physical, your mental, your spiritual health. I want you to work on your mind here, your body, your soul. I want you to work on, you know, building the best relationship that you possibly can have with yourself. Because you, you guys need to realize that, or you may just need to be reminded, a lot of you probably already know this, but the relationship that you have with yourself, that ultimately will set the tone for any future relationships here. So, if you don't love you, if you don't respect you, if you don't, you know, give yourself the time, the attention and the energy that you deserve here, how do you expect for anyone else to come in and do the same? And once again, I feel like that the reason why I say this and I want to draw on this is because that's the very reason why I feel like something here hasn't worked out in the way that you want it to, because a part of you feels insecure about yourself or insecure about this connection or a part of you even if just a small part is somehow putting up resistance so that's very important you guys work on you and just watch how this all of a sudden this connection here will shift and manifest in such a big positive way because it all begins and ends with you guys these are your messages. So I want to thank you guys for tuning for tuning in for your time and attention. Greatly appreciated. Please feel free to reach out for those of you interested in a personal reading. If you want me to continue on from this or um, any other uh, reading for that matter. Thanks guys again. I will be sharing with you more love messages. Stay tuned. Bye for now.